Unify may have just made their best router yet with the Cloud Gateway Max, but how does this router compare to other routers that they offer and who is it even for? Let's dive in and talk about that in this week's video. Back in March, I created a video called which Unify router is best for you. And in that video, I compared all the different options they had and compared what the differences were and similarities. So anybody who's looking and shopping for a router could make the best decision for them. And that video is still very much relevant today. If you'd like to watch it, there will be a link in the description. However, just last month, July 2024, Ubiquiti dropped another product for their fan base, and they may have knocked this one out of the park. The Cloud Gateway Max is a compact router that is packed full of horsepower underneath the hood. And it includes all of the rich features that we have grown to love with Ubiquiti just in a smaller package, which makes it a great option for any home user. And it only starts at $199, which isn't even the best part about it. Now, there are already quite a few videos out there, unboxing videos, spec videos on the Cloud Gateway Max, which is something that I can't do because I haven't been able to get my hands on one. However, I did want to share some of the highlights that this router has so you guys know what kind of punch this thing is packing. So first and foremost, there is a 2.5 gigabit WAN port on this, which really makes a great option if you have or plan to have one gigabit or faster internet. Now, back in the old days, that really wasn't an option for a lot of us. However, with fiber moving into more and more neighborhoods, a lot of people are paying their internet providers for faster than one gigabit internet, and this device will handle it up to 2.5 gigs, which really is awesome. Now, in addition to the faster 2.5 gigabit WAN port, this router also gives four 2.5 gigabit LAN ports. Now, up to now, most homes have had standard gigabit networks, which means the routers, the switches, access points, laptops, whatever, have all had one gigabit ports on them. And it's served the public very, very well. However, as the world gets faster and faster and faster, we've started to introduce 2.5 gigabit networking, and this device has it, which is really, really great. Even if you don't plan on using it day one, you could use it as a future-proofing method, knowing that you could grow into those faster speeds without having to replace your router. And that is a really great thing because I will say, I think the standard gigabit still applies to most of us at home who are just streaming music and streaming TV and such. Now, one of those ports has the ability to be reprogrammed as a WAN failover port. So what does this mean? This means that you can have two different internet providers plugged into this router at the same time. You have a primary internet provider and your backup internet provider. If something happens to the primary, fiber gets cut, whatever, your router will automatically fail over to your backup internet without a big long outage. And again, in the old days, this really wasn't super feasible to the everyday user unless you had a very specific, maybe home business case to pay for two expensive providers to bring internet in your house. However, with the introduction of 5G home internet from all those different providers, you can almost add it to your phone bill and pay 25 bucks a month or 35 bucks a month, very low cost, like I do, and it makes a great option for backup internet. Now, one little thing I will throw out here as it pertains to these 2.5 gigabit ports. You need to keep in mind that to take advantage of those speeds, Devices that are down the network, so your switch, your access point, even your laptops and things that are plugged into the network, to take advantage of those speeds, to fully take advantage of those speeds, they also need to be capable of 2.5 gigabit networking. So if your laptop only has a one gigabit port and is plugged into a 2.5 gigabit port, for example, you're only get, you're gonna max out at one gig on the laptop, okay? So to truly take advantage of this, everything downstream also needs to be capable of 2.5 gigabit, which adds cost and, you know, so like I said, maybe it's something that you grow into as more of a future-proofing thing and you start out with standard gigabit networking on day one. So really, really great option for this router. 
So the next highlight in its long list of highlight reel is its ability to run the full Unify IDS IPS security suite. So we're talking about intrusion detection and intrusion prevention system, okay? And even with everything turned on, you can get the estimated 1.5 gigabit speeds. Now, this is an area that makes this router stand apart from some of its predecessors like the Dream Router and the Unify Express, which have limited abilities in these areas. In addition to that, this device can also run all of the Unify applications. So we're talking about network for your network equipment, Protect, which is cameras, Access, which is door access readers to be able to swipe into a building um, with door access, Talk, which is voice over IP phones, and Connect, AV digital signage, EV charging, and some lighting products. So this device can run all of them at the same time. You don't have to pick and choose which two or three you wanna run. The horsepower is there to be able to run all these at the same time. Now, in my opinion, the biggest highlight of the Gateway Max, especially in that compact router market, is your ability to choose from several built-in storage options so you can run Unify Protect. Now, up to now, options were limited in this market. The Dream Router had some SSD cards that you could use and the Dream Wall, or you were forced to spend a little bit more money up front on an NVR or upgrade your router to the UDM Pro, UDM SE, and likewise. It really wasn't part of this market until now. Now this router is going to give you a couple different options right out the gate. Not all of them have even been released at the time of this video. There is a 512 gigabit option, there is a one terabyte storage option, a two terabyte storage option, or you can elect to get no storage. And I have confirmation that you will have the ability to be able to install your own storage down the road if you chose to add cameras at a later time, which I think is really great. Now, there's a lot we don't know because that option doesn't even come out until August 23rd, which is a couple weeks from now. So we don't know if you're, they're gonna force you to use storage purchased from Ubiquiti or you're gonna be able to go out to Amazon and purchase your own or how big you can go, but the option is there. Ubiquiti has confirmed that you will have the ability to add storage later. So if you wanted to get into this router at that entry level $199 price point and still get all those other great features we talked about, you can do that and still add storage later. So I think you did a really great job on this one, Ubiquiti. Nice job. Now we can't just talk about all the good things this has without talking about some of the things that it may or may not be missing. Now at this price point, a lot of this stuff doesn't really surprise me, but I felt it's important to call these things out because a lot of videos out there are just telling you the good stuff. Let's talk about what this thing doesn't have. All right, guys, let's talk about PoE or its lack thereof. That's right, this device does not provide any power over ethernet, but it is already doing a lot of jobs. It is your router, it's your gateway, it's your firewall, it's your controller, it's your NVR storage, it's 2.5 gigabit switch, and whatever other app you have running on it, it's managing that as well. But none of that is gonna give PoE to your access points or your cameras on the network. So if you're putting together a network and you like the idea of using this device, you're gonna need to come up with another solution to provide that networking and PoE support to those devices. This device will not do it alone. Now, the easiest way to achieve this is just to add a PoE switch, which is gonna give you full manageability. It's gonna be able to power those devices, network those devices, and it will expand your ports in most cases, depending on which switch you buy. You go from four to eight, eight to 16, or four to 16, whatever, you're gonna get more ports out of the deal, which is always good in a home network. However, maybe you have a simple network. Maybe you just have this device and a single access point, and you don't like the idea of buying an additional switch just to run that one access point. You do have some options. You can use a PoE injector. Now, there are some limitations with PoE injectors. A lot of times they're limited to one gig, so you can't take advantage of the full 2.5 gigabit switch speed on the device, but you still would be able to power that device very affordably. Another downside to them, and probably the biggest reason why I don't like using them, is if that access point ever becomes unresponsive and you need to reboot it, the only way you'll really be able to do it is to physically walk in to where those cables are, unplug the power cable, and plug it back in, which will force the device to reboot. Now, with a PoE switch, that's not the case. You can simply go 
in the controller software from wherever you are, you could be at the bank and choose the port that that AP is plugged into, choose to power cycle it, and when it power cycles, the, the device will actually turn off and come back up, and hopefully when it comes back up, it comes back online. And all that was fixed remotely. An injector just doesn't allow you to do that, and it's just kind of one of the downsides. However, in a simple network scenario, it may be your best bet. The next big gripe I can see people saying about this device is talking about its lack of onboard Wi-Fi. Now, Ubiquiti has created products in the past like the Dream Machine, the Dream Router, even the Unify Express that are router gateway controller devices like this one, um, but they also have onboard Wi-Fi. Now, I think some of you were maybe hoping that this device would be a direct replacement for the Dream Router, which you just can't get your hands on. And I just don't see it that way. I see this as more of a mini UDM Pro, even with some advancements over the UDM Pro, like having 2.5 gigabit LAN ports is better than what you can get on the UDM Pro. And that's kind of where I see this device sitting. But I know there's gonna be people out there that are gonna wish it had onboard Wi-Fi, and that just jacks up the cost um, and starts creating another beast altogether. And those other devices are limited in a lot of ways. I'm really glad Ubiquiti spent the money the way they did and gave this thing the horsepower that they did and the full feature set and all the security stuff at those high speeds where some of these other devices I mentioned, yeah, they have Wi-Fi, but they couldn't do all that stuff. So I know that's gonna be a gripe and I just wanted to throw it out there as a potential downside. The last criticism may not be super feasible, but I could see people complaining about this device not being able to do 10 gigabit or not having an SFP plus port to be able to change how it's physically connected to the network. But again, for the price point, you are getting a ton of value. And just know that if 10 gigabit networking is important to you, you will need to upgrade to the UDM Pro, UDM SE, or UDM Pro Max, like router gateway devices, which are made for those type of speeds um, through and through. Okay guys, with all that being said, both the good and the bad, let's talk about who this router is for. Now, for me personally, I see it as the almost perfect, if not perfect, home user router, and it's gonna be a router that I recommend to a lot of my home users as I start putting together networks moving forward. It just checks off all the boxes. If you really think about just a standard home network, right? You're talking about your modem or your ISP connected to a router, which then you got a switch, maybe two to three, maybe four access points in a larger home and five, six, possibly even seven cameras. This is gonna be able to handle that no problem. And in addition to being able to just handle it, you can turn on all the security, run other applications, and you have the ability to grow into that 2.5 gigabit networking. And the reason I say growing into it is because I think most of us out there, I would even say 90 to 95%, really don't need 2.5 gigabit networking today as it stands. You're streaming your shows, you're streaming some music, your kids are gaming, things like that. You don't need more than a gig to be able to do that. And so this router allows you to kind of start with your standard gigabit network with all the horsepower running it in that small form factor and be able to grow into those speeds if a day comes that you need to be able to get to them down the road. And I think that's what makes it really great. You can have redundancy failover built into it like we talked about earlier, which is a very advanced feature, comes on very high dollar routers, but you can do it with this at a very low price point. It just checks off all the boxes and is just a tiny little powerhouse that you can have running your home network. And that's why I think it makes the perfect network. If you guys would like to watch the video I did back in March about which router is gonna be best for you, click the tile below. If not, hit that like or subscribe button and we'll see you guys in a future video.